This is part five of our five part tutorial for snow spray art on Windows. If you have made it this far, congratulations. Five days in a row, well done. Um, we have learned a lot over the last four lessons, including houses, trees, people, all of that beautiful stuff. Um, if you haven't seen one, two, three, and four, go to our Snow Windows YouTube channel, check them out before you go for part five. This part we are going to chuck a nice little mountain in the background there and then um, maybe add a bit of chimney smoke to finish it off. Okay, leave a gap about six, seven inches above the houses and we're gonna create a nice triangle shape. Just a rough triangular shape, it doesn't need to be perfect. Then grab your scraper and we'll tidy it up and straighten up the line um, we don't want it straight, we want, a bit, want it a bit jaggedy so it's got that mountain vibe to it. And then clean it up. I'm going to add a little bit more spray coming down the left hand side because this is where I want my, the light hitting the mountain on the left. So just drag that down a little bit, not all the way down to the scene though. So still leave a gap and now we want to create a little bit of mist around the mountain. Just a light spray and then we can start etching out our mountain. So we're on the right hand side and we're just gonna drag the spray across. We're not taking the spray off the window, we are moving it. So just drag it across, leaving a few little white flecks here and there. But as you can see, that dark area now is being enhanced by that light spray that we created behind it. Okay, so just dragging it, creating a few little white lines and shapes and it just it immediately starts to have that mountain effect and then we're going to do the same on the left hand side but more towards the bottom because we want a lot more light on the left hand side so we're going to just etch away at the bottom there don't worry if that starts to interfere with the uh with the mist behind the houses now I'm just etching out a few little areas at the top of this mountain, but not too many. Okay. And then we just, if you can, thicken up some of the areas with a bit more white. As you're getting to the top of the mountain, it's get, getting a lot more light on it. Just enhances it slightly. And then what we're gonna do is a light spray just above the houses and below the mountain, give a bit of a mist effect. And then after that, we're obviously, we're gonna to have to go back over certain areas that we've just covered. So like, like the shadow of the chimney and any, any other areas. Okay, and here, when we're doing chimney smoke, start light and as you're coming up, just start pulling away from the window with the spray. You can do it gradually. You don't want a big thick line going straight up. You want to just few spurts of spray. As you're moving up, pull away and then it gives a nice effect. And there we have it. You did it. All five parts. Congratulations, snow spray art. Who would have thought it would be so much fun and so effective? And I bet you're surprised at how well you did. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. It is such an enjoyable medium. And like I said at the beginning of this, I've been doing it since about 2012. And the reactions that I get year in, year out from shops and houses um, is unbelievable people still love it you know it's what 11 years down the line and the reaction never changes so it's it really is an, an amazing art form to get into um, if you have got the bug for it and you want to take it to the next level we do courses on our, our snow windows website um, there's a, a few different options on there um, but we do cover Halloween and Christmas at the moment that will be added to um, there's also another one of the courses 
gives you access to a private Facebook group where I'm on there to help you through and guide you through the courses. Um, it's all online based, so wherever you are in the world, you can do it and do it in your own time. There's no pressure. Um, so if you're interested in that, click on the link in the description and that'll take you over to our website. Um, if you have any questions, please just message me, uh, whatever social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, all of those lovely things. Um, yeah, message me. I'd look forward to hearing from you um, and answer any of your questions. Um, again, I really hope you enjoyed this process and whether you do a course or not, I hope you progress and, um, and keep going with it. Um, thanks again for your time and uh, see you again soon.